Well, this area, of course, is known for its cotton, but another commodity in Terry County is shipped worldwide. But similarly to cotton, the growers are dealing with smaller yields this year. KCBD News Channel 11's Patricia Perry shows us this product and how it held up against the heat. About a 45 minute drive away from Lubbock, you'll find that peanuts are a hot commodity. Peanuts are really one of our staple commodities in Terry County, where we are now. Um, also the surrounding counties, uh, Dawson County, Gaines County, Yoakum County. Mason Becker, who has been growing peanuts for 14 years, says that's because peanuts can grow well in this area. We have a, a sandy loam soil that uh, really makes for bright holes on the peanuts and, and a really good uh, quality peanut. While these peanuts that fill this field around me are grown locally in Terry County, they've been tasted across the world as these are shipped everywhere. I love it. You know, that's that's one of the things that drives me as far as being a, a producer, you know, a farmer is is knowing that I can produce a crop that I'm proud of and that, that people all over the world are going to enjoy. This summer, the South Plains experienced high temperatures and not a lot of rain. Just like all commodities, that took a toll on the peanuts. Well, peanut yields specifically are probably going to be down. Um, where we could keep up with our irrigation, they'll be a little bit better. And some producers, like Bobby Harlan, farms peanuts because it harvests a better cash flow. In fact, growers are actually getting more per ton now. $750 a ton, which you can go back like five years ago, and it was 450 to 500 so the price has went up like it has for everything. Harlan says that price has increased because it cost more to produce the crop, but it's still not enough to make a big profit with how high input costs are. I think it's going to be about the same, about the same to less. I mean, even with the higher price we're getting, the, the price for our uh, products that we're buying for this crop is, is a lot higher. Harlan and Becker are both in harvesting phases for their crop. First, they dig them up, then separate them from the vines. Patricia Perry, KCBD News Channel 11.